All right. So. Wow. All right. Uh, TL Oreo with the uh, the Ness. Yeah. Very interesting. Oh wait. Pick. Oh, I think I think we have the names backwards. But uh, Andrew T is going to be uh, running Ness. And oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and then Oreo's going to be running Joker. Again, one of his many many characters. You know what's surprising? We have not one but two Ganners in this top eight. Because uh, we saw Oreo switch to Ganon earlier, and it was disgusting. So considering wow. uh, it was it was ridiculous. So we can definitely see that happening uh, later on if uh, things don't go so well. But right now everything seems pretty even. Great punish by Andrew WT using that fair out of shield. Epto with Joker is really really hard to punish. So you got to be like really tight with your. Uh, Quick time in to punish that move. Oh, yeah, for sure. And it has so much range as well. Oh, and yeah. I can only imagine the onslaught that's going to be off stage here for Teal Oreo because the Joker's just so Ooh. strong off stage. But man, didn't even need it. The up smash. Yeah, that was a great call out on that jump from the ledge. Really smart stuff. And he's only at 72% too, so it's not too bad. The big problem I'm worried about is uh, Tether Recovery with PK Thunder might be a little bit wonky. Yeah. But uh, Oreo navigated around it really well. Okay, really wow. nice conversion from that PK Fire, though. No uh, falling up air. Yeah, the falling up air just does so much damage. You can even do a lot of stuff with the drag down, but in that situation, not going to really set up for it. But right now, Teal Oreo getting some of these grabs, and that's what Joker really just thrives off of for damage, I feel like. Back throw is going to be enough. Yeah, those small percent combos. And then, uh, as we saw with, like, Leo specifically, you see a lot of crazy stuff coming with that uh, the grappling hook. Yeah. So even any stage with platforms, even a stage that seems as you know, safe and fair as this, can get, like, really dicey with that character. Oh, yeah, for sure. The conversion game is just so, so strong. Very combo-orientated character, which is why I think uh, he's, he's pretty popular, honestly. Like, oh, yeah. I, I feel like a lot of people enjoy playing the character. He was really just well-designed, and it's just really fun to play him, honestly. Yeah, especially after all the waiting, because we spent like a hot four months. They're like, you get Joker. What's he look like? Huh? <laughs> we saw nothing for like four What's months. What's that? Who? <laughs> Y'all hear something? But <laughs> we got him now. Oh, side magnet in the back air. Um, mm. As I watch Andrew W or An I keep doing that. Andrew T at cost. Uh, he has a lot of really crazy like nest strings. Like I I expect a lot of like really wild custom combos later in the set. Yeah, the, the down smash is so close to connecting every time, but hasn't really gotten it to work out just yet. And I feel like it would be so good, especially against Arsene's recovery. Ooh, oh yeah! Wow. Nice back air though. He's gonna take that second stock. Okay, this could be a big, big punish. No. Andrew T gets uh he whipped a couple of up tilts, but he's still in there and gotta get a big combo going. Ooh. Ooh. He, uh, he could have held it, he could have held it. But. Uh, I, risky decision making. I don't know, I don't know how to look at that. Yeah. I mean, right now he's got Arsene, but right now, Andrew, this should be a regrab. Wow, the directional air dodge through the down smash. That was so smart. Yeah, someone uh, I think it was Deus earlier called it a third jump, and I agree. Like that Ness's air dodge is insane. Air dash. <laughs> air dash, right. <laughs> Take me back to Marvel, the air dash. It's know, it's so good. Well, I mean, right there, Oreo finally going to close it out off stage. I feel like Andrew has just been doing such a good job, not really taking too much damage or if not any, or, you know, losing any stocks off stage. And that can be a difficult thing to do with Ness, not the best recovery. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Oreo uh, just gave us a little preview. He shot that one bullet, and I'm, uh, of course, reminded that Joker's bullets are so good at gimping most people, but especially a character with a linear recovery like Ness. Oh, he whiffed that aerial and got hit by the front head of the now smash. It's an unfortunate uh, misstep from Oreo. Almost oh, got caught with the drag down up air, too. Yeah, Arsene about to come out and play, though. Yeah, and that's such a huge game changer. Right now, and Arsene, even a back air, God help you, a smash stack. <laughs> hey, a smash stack. <laughs> the bait coming out from TL Oreo. Going to go with that down throw. And it's just so scary being in a position like that against Joker. You know, we, we go over time and time again how much this character gets out of grab. And even at those kill percents, he has some setups, too. So yeah. it, it, it's really scary because, you know, a uh, down throw into immediate raw back air, that's going to be yes, your stock. It's, it's so just good. so it's such a scary position, so I definitely can't blame Andrew for going for the air dodge there, but really, really great capitalization coming out from Oreo. And I think one thing that I'm a little bit afraid of is that, like, this character hasn't been in the meta long, but they're obviously, like, doing really well in, like, the upper portions of, like, the tier list. But now we're starting to see more and more combos. People are really starting to, like, explore. Like, we're seeing uh, guaranteed follow-ups from, like, Rebel Guard and all this other crazy stuff we're seeing. So I feel like in a couple months, this character is just going to be even scarier. Oh, yeah, for sure. Th th this character's meta is far from being, like, Oh, yeah, not and even close. And look how good he is right now. Yeah, and that's the scary thing. And we're seeing him in all different kinds of levels of play. You know, we see MK Leo really killing it with Joker at very Man. top level of play. And then he Joker's such a popular character that we just see him even throughout the mid and high level of play as well. And and the thing I like is that, like, he's he's not necessarily, like, a like a brain-dead character. Like, you do actually have to, like, do a lot of research and, like, know your stuff. Arsene's yeah. a little wonky, but you, you know what I mean. Right. So if we're coming to, like, uh, potential top-tier characters, I'd say this is, like, for the most part, a healthy one comparatively. Right, I'm I'm definitely fine with it. Yeah, and yeah. like 
It's Joker. Like, come on. He's cool. Uh, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> like, just aesthetically and just where he's from and the fact that he's in Smash Brothers, it's just really, really cool. Yeah, look at them shoes. Anyway, so <laughs> uh, edge guard situation for Andrew. Definitely waiting as long as he possibly could. Oh, but Arson faded out, and it gave him an opening Oreo did not expect. It's really hard to figure out when you are and aren't going to have that, like, disappear, and there's a lot of people that get, like, caught off guard, but definitely save Andrew's bacon right there. Yeah, and it looks like Oreo's probably going to get another stock with Arsene. Yes, here's the Arsene. Can he make More it chance. work? Oh, oh, no. That ain't Ness Air Dodge, though. It yeah. ain't Ness It ain't Ness. <laughs> He's like, I saw you do it earlier. No fair, bro. Like, <laughs> why don't I get one? Where's mine? Yeah, and now Andrew is going to have all this combo potential. But Oreo with the counter on the forwarder, that's a big deal. Arsene's going to come out a lot sooner. Yeah, really smart uh, placement on that Rebel Guard. Oh, he's got Arson already. <gasps> oh, Whoa! He almost confirmed that. He, he definitely could have comboed that into a down tilt, but definitely Oreo looking for the stock take right oh, there. Oh, yeah. I mean, at 127, you have to. Yeah. Wow, Andrew really ran away with this. The last game was, like, really, really close, but uh, this is way in his favor right now. Yeah, and uh, that up B is going to be such a horror for Oreo to deal with, especially when you have the Arson up B. Right now, Arson going back away, but, I mean, this back throw is going to kill. Now what? Oreo is in such a horrible position because... The Arsene meter just reset too, so exactly. it's, it's he still needs this kill. Oh, good patience from Andrew, recognizing that he's been using Rebel Guard to like burst out of these combos and getting a re-grab instead. That's like, not only is that a strong play, it's a good mind game too, because now you're conditioning your opponent. Oh yeah, for sure, and Andrew knows, I mean, pretty much his one out is to get a really great Rebel's Guard and get, you know, Arsene back out to play to seal out the stock. But man, he's still living 180%? Air Dash back up again. <laughs> Oh. Not the, okay. Yeah. I thought he got the classic for a hot second there. 194, yeah, still not dead. Oh, what's the offstage? He's still alive. The Arsene's gone. I mean, at this point, you can almost get hit by anything, even like non arson or Any grab. Oh, this might be a three-stock <laughs> right man, here. Yeah, my yep. man's about to get three-stock the forward air offstage, man. Oreo kind of kind of getting slapped up right there. A little and bit, yeah. And, and what's crazy is, that, like, every time he would, like, be close to getting something, Arsene would just run out, and Andrew's like, okay, well, yeah, what's left? <laughs> like, what do you got? It's, it's, I really like how Andrew assessed every situation and was just like, he knew the risk-reward that Oreo had to go for for a lot of these stocks, and he just played around Arsene so well. And it, especially if you win neutral against Arsene, I feel like a lot of people sleep on the fact that, like, yeah, Arsene comes out, but if you beat him in neutral when Arsene's out, the meter gets depleted, especially exactly, with multi-hit exactly. moves. Things like PK Fire or Rapid Jabs are just wonderful, wonderful options against an Arsene Joker. Yeah, you're right, actually. Like, all of his neutral tools are going to, like, make that easy on him. Yeah, and I mean, I it, it just really felt like Andrew couldn't die, and then the, the damage, like, eventually came. Um, we'll, we'll see what kind of adjustments Oreo ends up going with. I, it looks like we're staying with the Joker, which I agree with. Yeah, I agree with that, too. Unless he decides to just go Ganon again, but I... Will never sleep on that man's game <laughs> after what he did earlier. Yeah, I mean, Ganon could be a pick as well. I, I, Ness, very exploitable offstage, and Ganon with the Ooh, one, nice probably parry. one of the most nasty offstages, honestly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, dang. This is not there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not there. It's not there. Oh, but that dash attack, such a great burst option. It is really, really hard to, like, like, Andrew T is doing such a good job of, like, commanding the neutral, but it's so hard to do it against a character like Joker because he's so fast with so many quick options that can just, like, remove stage control from you. Oh, yeah. Great oh, beautiful parry. parry. Yeah, yeah, almost gets the forward smash out of it as well. Keeping the pressure up with the Ooh, back airs. Oh, man. All right. Both Andrew and Oreo. Parry game looking pretty clean right now. Super nice. Yeah, he's like, you ain't the only one, bro. Like, <laughs> I got these two. Not going to lie, man. Oh, sometimes. Oh, what do you do? Yep. Okay, all right. Just wait it out. Yeah. Joker's recovery, like that That tether recovery is actually. Ooh. That is so smart. Magnet confirms we got him on deck. Oh, we have everything on deck. Like, this this dude's, his, again, his strings are like crazy. But using the uh, cross-up from the Beaverse Magnet for that back air, big brain. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, I mean, that's one thing that is a huge addition to Ness's toolkit in Ultimate. Um, the Direction Air Dodge was a really big one. And the character is so much more well-rounded. And you have much more of a combo game as well with that magnet to, to add in. And it has that base Oh, knockdown. this Ooh, is so much. What? This is like oh, my Oreo. Please, somebody get this man some help. Punish. Please get a punish. All right. Oh. So we got Arson up here. <laughs> my god. Dang. Yeah. Every time. So here's the thing. You see a lot of Ness go for jab block. And they're like, oh, let me just charge an F smash. Andrew never does that. He goes for, like, magnet. He goes for PK fire and a dare into whatever he just did like it's it's crazy and i like that because there's so much more this character can get off the lock and andrew's showing his finesse with the nest oh yeah 
fin <laughs> finesse. That's a good. That's a good nest egg. Got him. Somebody <laughs> out there. Somebody <laughs> online. Some Wi-Fi warrior somewhere. I'm Fa finesse. Dash Ness. Yes. I got you, dog. I got. I got. I got the nest mains, man. So you know what's crazy about that situation? A lot of people, when you see Yo-Yo, they're like, "LOL, just get up attack." But that time he shielded it, and he was still like not in a disadvantageous position. I believe they nerfed the re-hit rate. Oh man! But that forward smash so good, and I feel like that's a very uh. Not common. I guess it is pretty common just because of how good dashing is. But like dash back forward smash, just being like, oh, you yeah. want a hard drift in, so I'm gonna cover this area with like a kill move. The Joker's is like kind of hard to punish and also like huge. It doesn't look that big, but it's pretty big. Ooh, but the patented back throw for Andrew gonna seal out the stock. The classic, the PK back throw. This game definitely looking much better than game two. Though. Oh, here comes a big damage combo. No rebel guard either. To boot. Oh, oh, the PK Thunder two. He just Jeez. got hit by two moves. Well, he's a guy Arson. Oh, no, he mashed neutral it. Oh, Jesus, this, this is like the worst time for Arson to come out. That was honestly the worst time. It was, yeah, because like he could have potentially made it back with grappling and got through that yo-yo, but like... Yeah, because you can just grappling hook and wait for the yo-yo to run out, but because Arson was forced and because the yo-yo goes below the ledge on the charge, Andrew was just able to solidly seal it out, and that was literally like two neutral exchanges. I, he did like 70 damage. I was like, man, that's pretty even. And Andrew's like, oh, oh Boom. God, <laughs> oh God, here's 140,000 damage and two moves. And that situation was so unique because he forced the off stage with Arsene activated. He didn't just force him off stage with no Arsene because he wouldn't have got that stock like that. Right. So because he went for a big hit like that and forced him off stage with the Arsene activated and like pretty much like quote unquote like nerfed the recovery because he made Arsene. Pretty much made it so he sealed out that sock. Amazing play, amazing planning coming out from Andrew. Oh, I can't wait to see the highlights of this tournament. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, I mean, we're, Ooh, on, we're only nice. on the first first match of top eight, man. We're, this stuff's wild. Oh, yeah. That was super smart using that uh, Aha to catch his drift, too, knowing that he wants to like, air dodge in or like burn his double jump early. Okay. Here, Here come the guns. Down. No, yeah. Andrew's doing a really good job of avoiding that. He's even, Oreo's like mixing up like the ankles. He oh! Are you kidding me? Oh! Sir! Who are can, you? Can who? I get your soul on a silver platter? Ness, who? Like, what? Okay. And with some extra cheese, because right now, man, Andrew, oh, he's Even got it on lock. Oh, there's his guns. There's the gimps we're talking about. But great recovery from Andrew. Still surviving that. Gosh, he is playing out of his mind right now. Another gun gimp not going to come to fruition. Yeah, and I, I like how Andrew's either just delaying his double jump or he'll double jump a little closer to the stage and kind of use that lip of Smashville as a little roof. Wait a minute. Oh. Whoa. He, nice play. <laughs> that was a good counter because right. Oreo almost got blown back. He's I like, mean, nah, you had me lost in the sauce last time. We're not doing that again. Wow, the PK fire Oreo. actually collided. Oh, the, oh, man, he's still hitting him. Andrew Oreo is all over Oreo right now. Up there? Up there? No, it's a little bit too high, but the Arson back here is going to take it. That move is terrifyingly strong. I've, I've died to that as early as like 55, 60 before, so no surprise that's going to do it for him. That was so interesting that the PK fire from Ness detonated and the fire pillar came out because right, yeah. of uh, Oreo's side B. Yeah, that takes like really, really like awkward spacing on both players to get that. Oh, there oh, it is. Oh, smart stuff. Yeah. yeah. There's a counter. Arsene free Arsen. Come out. Honestly, at 124%, you get Arsene going. You can really make a quick oh, turnaround with that back throw. Stands. Yeah. He just needed to wait it out because you you get the second breath of life was there. Arsene was just I about to come it, out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's back now. Oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah. Did he, count? he absorbed a lot. Oh, okay, okay. There's a lot going on. He's like, let me eat all this. Delicious. And now here he is, Arsene. <gasps> oh, he wasted the air dodge, but he's able to drift back to the stage. The parry wow. attack. Wow. Wow, Whoa. you're dead. You are dead. You died to that move that early. Wow. That is crazy. It's so He brought this back so quickly. <laughs> now he's eating Arson, Aha, and all this damage, and he still got the percent multiplier on him. Win and the F speed. Arson. Arson, come out. Help me out, man. I need you right now. I need this stock, and I need the next stock. I, Give me that. Give me that. Well, well, damn. I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I need this game five, Arson. I need this game five. Arsene! <laughs> Arsene, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> yeah, that, was in, that was within one Arsene, right? Yeah, he was way like, down. He was like, what? let me FaceTime my dude. Bro, hey. <laughs> Yo, bro. We're, my homie Arsene, I got homie. him on speed dial. Oh, my God. Arsene said gang gang. <laughs> like, <laughs> ridiculous. All right. I love that not only is uh, game five now, both these players are so good, but they're both flashy. Yeah, how flashy the set has been so far. Yeah, they definitely know how to take their offense to the next level. Oh, when, yeah. When in need. Oh, oh wow. smart. Using the second. Oh, he tried to F-smash him. 
I, I mean, at this point, if you can get a kill on Joker right when Arsene comes out, that's the best time to do it. Because yes, yes. that's, like, essentially the big, like, quote-unquote comeback factor for mm -hmm. this character. So if you can, if you're able to time the kills or just take the Arsene out, that, that's so, so big. Oh, and yeah. this Arsene's almost out. Look at that PK fire drained so much off of the meter. It did. He was trapped to go, like, to, like, a really weird angle, too. He, now this, gets, he gets a lot out of PK Fire this matchup. Uh, well, he gets it out of every matchup, but you know what I mean. Yeah, oh, really good dash back. And again, Oreo coming in with the dash attack mm -hmm. when Andrew has so much stage. That's the scary thing, because when someone has so much stage control, when they have the ability to dash back, when you commit with your dash attack, you, you really have to just be able to at least overshoot or maybe just even wait out what their option is if they have so much stage control. And that's kind of, oh, no. I'm surprised he couldn't make it from that angle, but huh. I know Ness's recovery is like a little bit strange. But uh, yeah, you're right. And certain characters uh, like Joker that are blessed with like super good dash attacks, stuff like that is going to happen to them. Because I, uh, I play Snake and it happens to me all the time. Like people just back up and, you know, get huge punishes out of it. It makes oh, sense. Yeah. And especially a character like Ness, when they can get a dash back and then grab into like just PK oh, back yeah. throw, it's it's, it's it's very very scary. Here's a PK fire though. Reads the jump out of it as well. Oh he man! He's truly terrorizing him with these PK fires. Oh yeah, and and the PK thunder is so good off stage, especially against Arsene. Yeah, Andrew is looking like uh he, he's looking like a top tier Ness right now. Oh yeah, for sure. It, it, everything is just so clean coming off from Andrew. Okay, can you get this stock to ledge trap? Stuff. Yeah, I respect that. Recognizing the Ness is going to get up to the ledge. Not want to take the risk of being back thrown, even though it's happening right now. So, smart of him to at least wait it out. Smart to get that wow. Rebel Guard, too. Yeah, he, he didn't get too much of it because it was just a tail, but he was able to get back to the ledge safely. Yeah, great options. Man, and this is this is a tough spot because you either got to live extremely long with Joker, oh, man, or, or you, you have to get a, a super solid Rebel Guard. Right, and you got to get like kind of a lackluster kill move to like keep your lead going, too. That's the problem. But he's got he's got a pretty good amount of damage on Andrew. Um, a solid like backer far off stage or smash tag. Even a four tilt right there probably would have done it with the amount of rage Oreo has. But of again, course, that dash tag, like yeah. you said, yes. Yeah. Hey, getting punished again. It, it's hard. I mean, I know like when when you look at Ness, you just want to hit him. I know, I know. Right. But like sometimes you got to be patient. Look at these tricksies. Look at these, bro. Woo! Dang, he. Oh, <laughs> that was like. How many close calls has <laughs> Oreo had with this Ness, man? Exactly. Andrew refuses to not be on Play of the Week this week. That's what. That's what. Oh uh, yeah, right yeah. He, he's he's definitely like putting in his application. Like yo, yeah, multiple man. applications. Oreo got himself on there too. Oh, another yeah. down smash. He's really trying to like just throw out these smash attacks and just take this stock, but he's just he's over committing a little bit oh. and getting so much extra credit for it. Yeah, and look at Andrew still 182, and we're still doing damage. We're still getting to this ledge, and Arsene's gone. This back throw, not going to do right, it. Now he's in another edge guard situation. Arson's gone. This is looking like all hope is lost. The neutral air does yep. it for Andrew T. Yeah, Great and set to both players, though. Yeah, amazing, amazing set. And I just... It was such a great balance coming up from Andrew, especially that game number five. He knew exactly when to go in on the offense, and he knew exactly when to stay strong on the defense, man. Like, he, that second stock, it was just so hard for him to lose it, and 180% able to seal it out. And Ness with max rage is just such a terror. Oh, man, yeah. Don't tell me about it. I never, I never want to be in that situation with him at, like, 186. Yeah. Especially because, like, not even does he just have, like, so much, like, raw kill power, but his neutral tools, he adds on so much extra credit so quickly if he catches the PK fire. And he got a ton of them that whole set. Oh, 